A sound wave resonates in a tube of length 6 meters with two open ends. What is the wavelength of the lowest resonating frequency of the tube? Here we have an open-ended tube. And we know that an open-ended tube at the lowest fundamental frequency, and therefore the longest wavelength, is going to have vibrational antinodes present at any open end. So to depict that, I'm going to draw one vibrational antinode at that end, and one vibrational antinode at that end. This pattern shows uh, two vibrational antinodes at either end, and then one node in the middle of the tube. So here we have half of a wavelength. To complete this wavelength, we would actually need to double the length of the tube. If we double the length of the tube, we can see a full wavelength going from this open end here all the way up to this open end here at the other end. So the wavelength of the lowest resonating frequency in this tube is going to be equal to 2 times the length of the tube, which in this case is 2 times 6 meters, or 12 meters.